In this video, we will show a medicinal and edible plant, the burdock or the greater burdock, Arctium lapa, from the family of Asteraceae. It is a biennial herbaceous plant with a robust stem that can reach 2 meters high. The leaves are large, green on the upper part and grayish white on the lower part. The flowers are bright pink or purple, and surrounded by an inverlicker made out of many bracts, each curving to form a hook. The fruits are brown, crested achines bristling with prickles. The burdock is as native to the temperate regions of the world, from Scandinavia to the Mediterranean, and from the British Isles through Russia, and the Middle East to India, China, Taiwan and Japan. Although all parts of the burdock have therapeutic properties, it is the roots that show the most interesting and documented effects. The root is long and fleshy, dark in color on the outside and clear on the inside. The roots are harvested in March and April of the second year. Burdock root present a nutritional interest thanks to its organic elements including inulin which is a polysaccharide responsible for the delicious taste of burdock, its minerals, potassium, calcium, iron and magnesium, and its vitamins such as vitamin A, B1, B2 and C. This edible root is a forgotten vegetable that is only eaten in certain regions of China and Japan. The root of the burdock is also of great medicinal interest. It has an antibacterial action especially on staphylococci. The root of burdock also has an anti-inflammatory action which is probably due to the presence of lignans and other polyphenols. At the metabolic level, the root is a lipid-lowering action and a hypoglycemic action by slowing the absorption of carbohydrates. It also has a hypotensive and protective action on atherosclerotic plaques. Burdock is a depurative herb that allows the drainage of emunctories. It has a uricosuric diuretic action, promotes the elimination of uric acid, hence its interest in urolithiasis, and in gout that is a form of inflammatory arthritis due to persistently elevated levels of uric acid in the blood. It also allows hepatic and pancreatic drainage and has a slight laxative action. It is a detoxifying herb which allows the elimination of toxic derivatives and heavy metals. Burdock expresses its full potential in the skin. Its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-staphylococcal effects, as well as the drainage action, make it a constant plant in the formulas prescribed for the treatment of dermatosis, specifically in cases of impetigo, facial acne and staph infections such as boils. For internal use, we use 2 grams to 4 grams per day of the powder of the root that we will dilute in water, milk or juice. You can also prepare a herbal tea by infusing 3 to 6 grams of cumonited root into 250 milliliters of boiling water. We take this herbal tea up to 3 times a day. You can also use burdock in the form of a mother tincture in the order of 50 to 150 drops per day. For external use, a 20 minute decoction is prepared with 90 grams of burdock root per liter. This decoction is used in washing and skin conditions, acne, eczema, impetigo. Burdock root is contraindicated in pregnant women, it can trigger a premature birth. It is also avoided to use in breastfeeding women, because we do not have enough knowledge regarding the safety of this plant during breastfeeding. Side effects are minimal such as the occurrence of diarrhea due to its laxative effect. Some cases of contact allergy have been reported. Subscribe and I will see you the next time.